Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about the importance of a specialised warm-up for sprinting. So I'm sure a lot of the people watching this video already know who Noah Lowes is. He's the current American record holder for 200 metres with a time of 19.31. What some people might not know is that he said it himself on his YouTube channel. So it's actually worth checking out his YouTube channel and like watching some of the videos he's been releasing because they're quite good. That he equated a decent amount of the change from Doha onwards to how... His warm-up has developed onwards. He didn't go into too much detail, but he specifically said that he slightly changed his warm-up. He got he was given something new from someone and he did that and then he got his 19, I believe his 19.5 in the 200 in Doha in 2019. And then in 2022, the 19.31, that obviously speaks for itself. Which just goes to show how just doing giving yourself a slight change to your warm-up can really improve your performance because in 2018 before he did this change his personal best i believe was 1965 and obviously there are a lot of different things that can happen over a year that can be a factor in your time as well as for the 200 160 or 400 it doesn't really matter so the warm-up wouldn't be the biggest factor but it can be a deciding factor especially on the higher levels purely because of what the warm-up does. The warm-up is supposed to really give you two pieces of information. First of all, it's supposed to let you know that your body is completely warm. Second of all, it's supposed to tell you the conditions your body's in. For example, most of the time when people get injured, it's either because they didn't warm up properly or they warmed up properly. What I mean when I say that is they didn't warm up properly so their body wasn't able to let be able to give them any feedback whilst they're doing various moves to warm up every single muscle they have or they didn't warm they did warm up properly they warmed up completely and they were given signs essentially so you might warm up and like if you have a bad knee your knee starts playing around or your hamstring feels a bit tight or your cord or whatever but you go through with the training or the meat anyway and you get injured it wouldn't be so much of a shock that you were injured. It was just you hoping you didn't get injured in such a scenario. If you didn't warm up properly, well, obviously you didn't know. It was just a gamble. But if you were to warm up, you would know and you'd be able to deal with this. Because it is possible to still sprint with an injury or potential for an injury. But the way you have to do the race would change. And not warming up properly for you individually could factor whether you finish a race injured or you finish the race borderline just safe just safe and the reason why i say a specialized warm-up is important is because everyone's body is different for example what noah allows did to be able to achieve his 19.5 and um, 19.39 you know i'm sorry not 19.39 19.31 would maybe not bring maybe even half the results to me or anyone else watching this video purely because his warm-up is no longer just a uh, the basic leg swings and normal drills but now it's actually tailor fit for his body to perform at the best it's ever been obviously there's probably still work he can do on, the, on his warm-up so he can perform better but the point is so far this is the best he's been this is the best he's found and he's going to continue with that maybe building on it every now and then but obviously to a certain degree because if you work the warm-up in the wrong direction it can just make it worse so he can get the best times he possibly can the reason why i'm trying to highlight this is because a lot of people don't seem to understand the importance of the warm-up itself a lot of people they just go through the motions essentially they seem to neglect why the warm-up is even there in the first place purely because they've been doing it for so many years since childhood and the reason it's there is to let you know that your body is trying to wake up essentially especially if you're sprinting if you was doing middle distance or long distance warming up is obviously important but it wouldn't be to the same degree purely because you could obviously wouldn't be benef beneficial or wise but you could still run like a maybe not so much an 800 but like a 1500 or longer slightly cold because your body is just gonna have enough time to warm up anyway but for uh, 60 100 200 400 you don't have that time your body has to be primed and ready to perform and if you don't warm up properly what's going to end up happening is your fast twitch muscles won't be prepared to perform at their best so what what would actually happen is say for example you was running 100 meters in 
let's say 13 seconds let's say 30 seconds so you can run 100 meters in 30 seconds but you don't warm up properly what this probably means is there's a good chance that if you was to just slightly change your warm up make it longer add some things make sure that all your muscles are actually warm and ready so your fast twitch muscles are activated for the activity at hand you could easily go sub 13 just from that your warm up's enough your warm up is is literally enough and there's a good chance it's the same thing for sub 12 you could go sub 12 just by doing that too this is this just shows how important the warm-up is because if you don't like i mean if you don't warm up you can still perform well but it won't be at your best which is why no allows saw such a drastic change between 2018 and 2019 just by i think he made one change he added he made one addition to his warm-up and obviously like i said before he trained obviously he kept training he was training more the quality, the quality was getting better and better, so obviously he improved. But the warm up was a very massive factor in the change because if you have a poor warm up, if you don't warm up all of your muscles, there's a good chance you're going to perform poorly because your body isn't ready to go and actually sprint. Your body hasn't awakened because when you warm up, there's two things that really occur to your body, and this is like physically warming up physically preparing and mentally when you physically prepare obviously the muscles actually get warmed up and everything but mentally your body your brain starts to compute okay this is going to happen we are about to sprint because the warm-up you do for sprinting probably wouldn't be the same more if you do for basketball or something else so making sure that your body is aware that this warm-up means this means your body can actually be prepared to perform in such a format the way you want it to perform it can actually perform because it knows what it's going to do there's no point in having like a basketball warm-up and then the next thing you know you're sprinting 200 meters your body probably thought you was going to do basketball so it was prepared to, to do some verticals and slam dunks or something not to sprint in a straight line or a slightly curved line for, for a sustained period of time but if you used to do a sprinter's warm-up not just a sprinter's warm-up but one that works well for your body, is specialized for you. Your body's like, okay, I know what's going to happen. I need to perform at my best. This is important. It's not going to be for long, but making sure that it's efficient is important. If you don't warm up enough, your body won't be able to be efficient with its movements. And obviously, there are various other factors that can affect efficiency in uh, muscle movement. But most of the time, this is more just your own form problems or you haven't trained enough for your body to get used to it but it doesn't mean that you you could just drop extra points anyway saying obviously that was the case in your warm-up when you could just work really hard on it make sure everything's perfect so your body's actually prepared to perform at its best which is why you should really just make sure you're prepared for your warm-up and you make sure you actually value it so don't just do like two laps around the track or something like that. Make sure you actually do drills and everything. Make sure your body's actually ready to, to warm up, ready to actually start doing its activities. Because if it isn't, it won't perform like it is. If you like my video, like the video, let me know in the comments section below. Um, check the description because anything I forget to say in the video, I always put in the description. And if you like my content, subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. Um, post every two days at 1 p.m greenwich mean time if you don't know when that is just hit the bell and then you'll be notified instantly